Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that I haven't done a video. I've just been fighting a cold mostly. So I'm trying to at least get this review out of the way for Green Day's new album, Saviors, that I got a chance to listen to for myself to see what I was going to think of it. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for all 15 songs for this 46 minute album by Green Day Saviors and let you know my thoughts on this record overall so let's dive into this album review now it starts with the title well not the title track the first single The American Dream is Killing Me and that was a pretty good song in my opinion I actually did enjoy it it's in your face and very political but I think with what they were going for with this I really enjoyed the sound I mean I agree with their political views, but I'm not going to really go into topic of that. But still, um, still a great track from Green Day, and highly recommend you check this first single out. Look Ma No Brains is the second song, and that's a pretty good song for how it sounds for two minutes and I think nine seconds or so, or something like that. I think it's somewhere around there, but basically I enjoyed it, so that's a 5 out of 5. I did do track reviews for uh, these Green Day songs, all four s tracks I did for singles, because uh, they were singles, and I reviewed uh, those tracks mostly, so yeah, 5 out of 5. Bobby Socks was not really my favorite track, um, because of how... Uh, Billy Joe is singing it, do you want to be my girlfriend, and then do you want to be my boyfriend, like he's impersonating a girl or whatever, like he's sounding like a girl in that sense, I don't know, this track was just odd, and I didn't feel for it too much, because it just, unrelatable chorus, unrelatable lyrics, the lyrics are just not very great, they're kind of cringe, but overall the track is okay, so I'd give it a 3 out of 5 for this one, I was hoping this wouldn't suck, but I found it to be eh, in the middle, One-Eyed Bastard is grown on me a little more, I don't see it as the pink so what song that much anymore because i'm getting used to the melody a bit but the track is all right so i'd give it a 4.5 out of 5 the bada bang bada bang bada boom uh lyric that part was a little hit or miss but overall the track is all right uh dilemma was a pretty good song i mean some of the lyrics are on the safe side but i think billy joe made it work with the melody of the track and mike durst and uh just Trey Cool. Um, basically, the track was interesting. I was sober, now I'm drunk again. That that lyric was a little hit or miss. But overall, the rest of the track played out alright. So, 5 out of 5. 1981 is a favorite track. It's very catchy. Um, it's not very long, but it gets its point across with what it's trying to go for this track and it's a pretty catchy song and she's gonna bang her head like it's 1981 lyric so did enjoy this track for what it went for five out of five good night adeline is a pretty good song but it's not one of my favorites so i give this a 4.75 out of five i think when the melody changes it i don't know the song kind of takes off in a hit or miss kind of way but overall, the track it itself was alright, so I'd give it a 4.75 out of 5. Coma City is not really something I was crazy for. I think it's going to be one of the singles. Sorry about the background noise. That's my nephew um, spouting out some gibberish words, mostly. So he's being a kid, mostly. So basically, Coma City, I mean, I like the instrumentation in it, but... The track is just, the lyrics are kind of repetitive, where it just repeats Coma City so much, and it just takes off in a hit or miss kind of way too as well, so 4.5 out of 5. Corvette Summer was not bad. Um, I didn't hate this track, so this is another 4.5 out of 5. Get Around, I Could Get Around, uh, lyric, uh, something in my rock and roll. 
uh, smash up my rock and roll or something like that. I can't remember the lyrics, but I have to go back and listen to this again. But I clearly thought this record, which I'm going to tell you my opinion on it at the end of the review. There were some hit or miss songs, but overall, the record is... Uh, it's fine. Uh, Susie Chapstick, sorry about the background noise. They're joking around. My sister and my uh, uh, mom and my nephew, too. So, Susie Chapstick, I didn't like the falsetto from uh, Billy Joe in this one. I don't know, this one felt a little on the safe side, but it was fine. But the track itself was alright. 4.5 out of 5. Strange Days Are Here to Stay. Um, this track was alright, not one of my favorites, but it's fine for what it is, it just gets you through the record mostly, so 4.5 out of 5, Living in the 20s was pretty good, um, I really enjoyed this track, I like Billy Joe's screaming vocals from time to time in this track, but it's not a very long track, but it gets the, it's point across with what it's going for, lyrics are on the safe side, but they're fine. Uh, Father to a Son was a nice track with uh, what he wanted to do with the song, Billy Joe. And I guess he's dedicating this song to his son. And it's a really interesting message that the track is going for. And I'm sorry about the background noise. He's throwing a fit. <laughs> so, uh, Father to a Son is a 5 out of 5. Saviors is a alright track. I'd give this a 4.5 out of 5. I didn't hate this song, but I just... The title track is not my favorite. So, then we get to Fancy Sauce, and that one is a 3.75 out of 5. This one was kind of not as great. It's below decent, at least, because the lyrics are a little hit or miss. And basically, there's some do with somersault oh, yeah, and some yeah. other... Lyrics like that, it just, this song has its cringy points, I can tell you that. But overall, the track, it's with what it's going for. Drum-wise, it's fine. Billy Joe's vocals is fine, but the execution for the lyrics is the problem I have with it. So 3.75 out of 5. Overall, production, mixing, and execution-wise, I found this to be a decent record. Um, not Green Day's best. Um... I will be honest, when I did the Father of All Motherfuckers album review, that wasn't a great album. This one is fine. It's not great, but it's decent. There are some decent cuts, like The the American Dream is Killing Me, Look Ma No Brains, Dilemma. Uh, then you have Living in the Twenties and Father to a Son. Those are probably my favorite songs. The other tracks are kind of forgettable in a way um not everything is bad but the ones that got like bobby socks and fancy sauce those were not my favorite tracks they were not great songs in any way so i wish they could have done a little better with this record but overall this is what we're getting so if i were to give this record an overall score i'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 it's decent i still like green day but with what they're going for with this record I mean, the American Dream is Killing Me is my favorite track, and I'll still listen to it to this day. And Look Mono Brains, Dilemma. And I guess you could say Coma City is not bad, but there's some highlights. Uh, 1981 is a favorite. I like that one. Um, I forgot to mention that, but still overall, the record is fairly decent. It's not anything to write home about, but... I was hoping this wouldn't have been as disappointing as I thought it'd be. It's not disappointing, but it's just, eh, it's decent. So 7 out of 10 for Green Day Saviors. I hope you enjoyed this album review, and thanks for watching.